and here the HDMI booth here at the IFA, you are also showing more about the HDMI out mode. So uh, can we see you were showing the ca the camcorder is is easily able to be modified to do this. And so uh, products such as camcorders that today have a USB connector and an HDMI connector, they want to do a connector consolidation. The USB Type C connector is ideal for that, and it's very easy for these type of products to add the Type C or replace the other connectors with Type C uh, and get the full functionality of HDMI. So not only you get the audio and video, you can also get the CEC function. So I can use the TV's remote control uh, to uh, play, pause, stop, go to menu, uh, and control the camcorder. So I can say, kick back on my couch, watch what I filmed today, film the kid's birthday party, or my family vacation. And you can support all the specs of HDMI, right? You were showing some, uh, some And so higher... over here we have a prototype. Uh, we wanted to demonstrate that the USB Type-C to HDMI cables uh, can be premium cable certified, which guarantees they will work at 4K60. So here we've modified a Ultra HD Blu-ray player, of, which is very simple to do. It already has HDMI out. We just put the Type-C connector on there, and we can show here playing 4K60 content over a HDMI premium cable certified USB Type-C to HDMI cable. So that would be the 2.0 A or B? Well, so 2.0 specification covers this higher performance. Uh, right now, officially, the HDMI 1.4 B spec, which goes up to 4K 30, has been released. Uh, the cable is designed to do 4K 60. So when the HDMI forum uh, takes, has the time to release the higher performance spec, uh, then it'll cover all levels of performance. All right. So then uh, that would make things easier on, uh, on all kinds of devices. You will just have Type-C do everything. So for products that want to use the Type-C connector, it's predominantly mobile phones, tablets, and PCs, they will be take advantage of the connector and also the full performance of the HDMI specification to meet their uh, audio video needs. So like you were showing the camcorder and this blu player already have HDMI chipsets in there. Yes. So it's just rerouting. That's yes. easy, right? Yeah, so chips that the SOCs, which is the system on the chip that already have HDMI built into it, uh, it's very easy to add some circuitry, uh, switch, uh, and PD controller that would turn transform that into a USB Type-C capable device. But then smartphones that might consider adding this would add a chip, and you would have some chips to recommend, and they would add a little chip on the PCB to add this functionality. In a uh, smartphone. That's correct. So there are chip manufacturers today that do the high-speed switches and the PD controller. Uh, so it would be fairly simple and cost-effective for them to add it. And then next generation, the SOC providers would integrate that into the uh, main chip.